Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic in this training which is on what is a homogeneous system copy. So let's get into the training. So basically homogeneous system copy is when we are trying to create a new system by making moving or copying a system to a new environment source and target system will use the same operating system and the database system. So that is one thing. Second thing is the hardware architecture remains the same. So basically either it is same or it is like a certified successor of it. So where SAP supports homogeneous system copies. Okay, now operating and database systems, basically it depends on the SAP released combination of OS and database versions. In some cases of OS or DB upgrade might be necessary on the source system before the system copy can be performed. So basically what we have seen here in homogeneous system copy before as well is we are not changing the OS, we are not changing the database, but we are creating a new system either of the same version or a similar version. So similar what it stands for similar is say for example I am on Windows NT, I am going to Windows 2000 or from 2000 to 2003 or 2003 to 2008. So in these scenarios the system, the operating system has not changed. Okay, So that falls under the homogeneous system category. Second thing is say for example I am on say SQL Server 2003, I moved to SQL Server 2008, so in this case I am just using the newer version of the database, I am not changing the database, so that falls under the homogeneous system category. Okay, so depending on the method used for executing the homogeneous system copy, it might be necessary to upgrade the database or the operating system of the source system first. Say, for example, if you have older environment, say for example, if you have very old SAP system having 3.1 or 3.4.0, uh, so these versions, what happens is that you may need to upgrade the operating system itself before you can export the system, uh, export the database out of that particular system. Okay. Next is the new hardware on the target system might be supported by the latest operating system and database version only. So, so basically the homogeneous system copy what happens is we need to plan out a hardware type, what type of hardware is supported in, in the environment whether the compatibility issue will be coming in if, if we want to upgrade our SAP system. So we need to revisit, we need to review, go to the SAP marketplace, go to PAM that is product availability matrix and find out for the source system, particular source system, what is the hardware which is supported, what is the OS which is supported, what is the database which is supported. So when we are upgrading an SAP system to a newer version, we need to check whether this newer system can be installed. So newer SAP system, what type of minimum OS requirement is, what type of minimum database requirement is, what type of minimum hardware requirement is. So that is basically the prerequisites for performing any system copy. So if the OS and database is not changing in the migration in the system copy, that means it is a homogeneous system copy. Okay, so let's see the drivers why we have to perform a homogeneous system copy. Okay, so basically either we are changing a hardware so in that particular scenario we need to perform this activity okay so say for example if you have an MCOD scenario you want to take out that particular component and put it in new database or into a new system in that case you may need to perform uh, this system move or 
okay secondly say for example if you want to create a new system say for example you have just dev and production system and you want to create a new additional system cp system say for example qa system training system test system in that case we will follow this homogeneous system copy okay and finally when we are changing the sap sid sid basically stand for the system identification number so this is the unique identification which describes the SAP system so it's a three letter word which tells okay say for example for the development system development ECC system you can go for say EC1 EC2 or D1 D2 okay so for example if you are have say for example if you have a portal system you can go for DP1 uh, QP1 say development quality production or if we have test system TP1 so like that you need to make sure that you have a unique system identification that is SID for your SAP system okay just make sure that you are not using any of the reserved SAP SIDs okay so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in homogeneous system co copy thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye